one of the most common herbs in indian home gardens is dottapatre or karpuravalli or indian borage as it's known in english or patarchur as it's known in hindi today i'll share a karnataka special raita made with this herb see how to make dottapatre tambuli Hello and welcome to Spices and More. To start with, I've taken 1 teaspoon of ghee and I'm heating it on low heat. To this now, I'm adding 1 tablespoon of cumin seeds and 1 tablespoon of peppercorns. Let's fry these for 2 to 4 minutes on low heat. After about 3 minutes, I'm adding 2 to 3 inches of ginger that i've cleaned and chopped i'm continuing to fry these on low heat after about 4 minutes the spices and the ginger turn aromatic that's when you know they're done let's keep these aside now taken about 1 cup of dotta patre leaves that i have cleaned and roughly chopped i'm going to roast it on low heat for about 2 to 4 minutes until it becomes a bit soft dotta patre leaves are very easy to grow and require very little water and usually grow in all weather conditions it's a perfect plant to have in your kitchen garden or on your balcony These leaves have many traditional medicinal values especially for the treatments of coughs, sore throats, nasal congestion, infections and the list goes on and on. My dotta patre now looks nice and soft and that's when I know it's done. So I'm going to put that aside with the spices and ginger. I'm now adding quarter cup of freshly grated coconut and some salt to taste. will now leave this to cool down completely and once it's cooled i'm going to blend this to a smooth paste i'm adding about quarter cup of water to get the required consistency it's well blended now and that's the perfect color and texture that we are looking for i'm now going to add 1 cup of fresh yogurt or curd to this and i'm going to hand whisk this avoid blending the yogurt with other ingredients as it may become a bit watery We want this to be nice and creamy. After whisking it for a couple of minutes, my tambouli looks perfect. That's the texture that we are looking for. It's best served with hot rice or as an accompaniment to any rice preparation like pulao or chitrana. Optionally, you can also add tempering when you serve it with 1 teaspoon of ghee and jeera and a few peppercorns. If you have liked this recipe please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Spices and More until next time take care